everybody, I'm Brian. Let's go do some woodworking. <laughs> Okay, so I want to talk about flattening a board. And we have a nice board here that uh, doesn't have much of a twist, but I want to show the tools needed to get a board flat and without any twist. So you can see right now these tools here, this is, these are winding sticks, uh, winding sticks, whatever you prefer to call them. And they are for sighting down the board and for seeing if there's any twist in the board. And that's done by looking at a contrasting black surface against this uh, silver surface down here that you can see on this end of the board. You can see that there's lines scribed into this. And uh, when you look down the surface of the board, you can see very clearly that there's a twist or no twist in the board. And in this case, I think I'm actually pretty lucky on this board. There's not much of a twist. Uh, although I am going to go ahead and show you how to get that out if it's there. So what you do is you just go down and you look down the winding sticks to see how much of a twist there is. You sight across the tops of them. And here we have very little twist in the board. There's a little tiny bit from corner to corner, and I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, so this board doesn't have much of a twist, but it does have a very small twist. And the twist is high over here, and it's high over here. So these are the two high corners, these are the two low corners. So it's twisted like that. So I want to plane from high corner to high corner, diagonally across the top of the board. And I can see very clearly where I'm planing and where I have it. The plane is set a little bit fine for doing something like this. So I want to take just a little bit more wood. A little bit more. Very often, once you've done this and you've smoothed the surface of the board quite a lot, you'll find that it's difficult to tell where you've planed and where you haven't. And between steps, what I do is I set up my sander with a 120 grit sandpaper. And after I've done a pass like this, I'm going to take my sander and score the surface dull again. Once the surface is dull, I'm going to recheck everything and then I'm going to make some more passes. Okay, so the surface is uniformly dull again. So now I'm going to check the board again with my winding sticks. Sight down the board, make sure everything's flat. I'll do that. I've already done that, so I know it's flat actually now. So I don't need to go diagonal anymore. The problem I do have on this board, now that it's straight, it does have a high point in the center. And I know that because if I tip the board up on edge, you don't want to do this flat because gravity's pushing on the center of the board right now, and the ruler's not going to tell you the truth. You want to stand the board up on its edge, and you want to take your ruler and sit it along the surface of the board. There's no gravity messing with us right now. You can see very clearly that there's a high point in the center, a fairly substantial high point. And so the way that I flatten that lengthwise is in a number of different passes. You could put masking tape underneath the center to keep the center of the board high. That works well. You can do that. Don't have to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand plane out the center, and then I'm going to hand plane out a little bit more, and then I'm going to hand plane out a little bit more, and then I'm going to do almost a full pass, and then I'm going to do a full pass. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've marked out my passes I'm going to do. I have my sharp, plane, uh, my sharp hand plane ready to go, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, now I'm going to move out to my next bit of... I tried to get that spot there. There we go. Move out to my next set of lines. Move out to my next set. I'm going to move out to my final set of lines. Clean 
off those pencil lines a little bit. I've almost done the entire board. I can feel with my hand a couple of little high spots. That's pretty darn good. So now, I want to do a full length pass, but I'm worried that as I go through the center of the board here, I won't see what I'm doing. So I'm quickly going to sand it again, and then I'm going to do a full length pass on the whole board. Okay, so I've sanded the surface again, and I want to do a full length pass and call it done. Now I've crossed the board, but I can see some dull areas pretty clearly. I just want to make sure that those dull areas that I missed. Feels pretty good. I'm going to stand the board up on the edge again. Use my straight edge. It's touching on both ends, nice and flat. So that's how you flatten the board lengthwise.